Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I'm here in Plymouth Isle, which is a world that I created completely from scratch. So if you haven't seen that series, you can check it out on my channel. But today you can see I already have a house here that I'm working with. So yeah, this is another one of these instances where I am taking a house that I built previously and I'm incorporating, incorporating it into Plymouth Isle. So this house here was... Um, what was it? P Pomegranate Paradise, that's right. So yeah, this house was Pomegranate Paradise, which I built like in late 2016. I'll leave a link in the description to the original video if you want to see me build this house, you know, in the first place. But basically in this video, the reason it's a little bit shorter than usual is because I am just, you know, refreshing the house and kind of modifying it so that it fits in with the world and is kind of more up to date um, with how I build houses now. So like the first thing you may have noticed is I added closets to the bedrooms. So so, you know, all the bedrooms will have closets. Uh, this house ends up having four bedrooms and four bathrooms, I believe. And yeah, and it has a garage and you can kind of see the car in the driveway there, though I do change that. But uh, the main thing that was kind of funky with this was the lot. So, you know, placing a house that was built on a different lot onto this lot, which kind of has some interesting typography, typo typography. I was trying to use a fun word there, and I think I really kind of screwed it up. But anyway, it's kind of some interesting ty typo topography. Topography. There you go. Topography. It's interesting topography. <laughs> Whatever. You know, it is. It's kind of a unique lot. So I decided, you know, it, it, this house can work on it. So, you know, I decided to do some tweaks. I had to remove the funky fence, which you may have noticed at the beginning. And on the uh, left side of the house, I end up kind of making a little walkout basement area from the garage. So, you know, it, that works out. So, yeah, and it kind of conforms to the terrain a little bit better, the way I work it out. So, yeah, and this house is built on lot number 31, which is in the town center. We're right next door to the previous house, which was Main Street Manor. And this house is basically like right across the street from the library, or it's like right by that, right by the library in the world. So uh, yeah, it's a kind of a, a central location. And of course, if you want to download this house, there'll be a link in the description below. So you can download the house and place it in Plymouth Isle. And of course, there'll also be a link to download Plymouth Isle in the description below as well. And yeah, also a link to a lot map. That was the other thing. Yeah, there's a link to a lot map as well, so you can see which lot 31 is. But yeah, uh, the main changes to the house happen on the exterior. So whether that be the terraforming, which I've already kind of done, for the most part, you can kind of see I added the walkout basement. And then also the color. I changed the stone texture and I changed the siding color. And then also the landscaping. I changed the landscaping. I changed like the color, like the wood texture and all the windows and doors as well. But... Yeah, I mean, the main change is on the outside. I mean, of course, the house still ends up looking roughly the same. I did end up having to move the door to this front upstairs balcony to the other bedroom because of the closet that I added. And then you can kind of see, it's hard to see in this view, but that door is kind of blocked by the roof because the roof is like kind of clipping with the balcony. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's mostly decorative anyway. So it's, it is what it is. But anyway, yeah. Don't, don't pay too close attention to that. But anyway, the, for the inside of the house, it was mostly fine. You know, um, like the last house that I kind of renovated for Plymouth Isle, which was Waterfront Getaway, that one that I kind of redid the inside a lot more because I wasn't super happy with it. But for this one, I decided to keep it mostly the same. Um, right here, you might have noticed the colors kind of changed a little bit in this section. Um, I Off camera, I just pulled some colors from a website called Design Seeds that I really like that has like different color swatches and stuff. And that's where I got this color for the house. So yeah, it's kind of like a minty greenish blue, like a sea foam kind of color. And I thought it was kind of nice, you know, kind of fun. I wanted something a little bit brighter because I was considering making it kind of like a, you know, a very like, um, like desaturated light color. But I thought, you know what, we'll go for a brighter color. Because, you know, this house was red originally. So I thought, why not? Why not go for something kind of also fun, but in a different way. So I went with the blue and you can see, I think it's kind of cool. Um, or it's like a blue green, you know, so I kind of uh, placed that on the house. You can see I'm just basically going around and changing all the red siding to blue. It's not that exciting, but I think it, it's the main thing that kind of changes the look of the house. You know, when you see it, it's like, oh, now it's a different color. So yeah, and I also used stone from Ambitions as well. And to replace the stone that I was using before, it just gives it, you know, a slightly different look and feel to it. So yeah. 
anyway, just going through doing that, changing up all the siding, you know, just take some time to do that. So, you know, working my way around the house. I think I'm almost done here though. So there you go. Anyway, that's the transformed outside color. I was going to change the roof. I was considering like a dark green roof, but then I was like, no, we'll stick with the gray. I think the gray works pretty well. And right now is when I go through and change all the windows. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know this video is kind of probably less exciting than when I build houses from scratch because this is just a lot of recoloring things that are already there. In fact, that's a major theme with this house. But you know, you know, it's, 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 I, I like, I like including some of my older houses that I really like in the world. And also, you know, honestly, it saves some time as well because I can just kind of go through, make some changes, and I don't have to build from scratch. And I really like this house. You know, same with like, I mean, the houses that I've included in the world that I had built previously and that I make changes to are all like some of my favorite houses and I wanted to have them in the world. So yeah, this was one of them. I really liked this house back when I built it and I still really like it today. And so I thought it would be a nice candidate to bring into this world as well. So yeah, you can see right now I was, I wanted to get some stairs there, but they really wouldn't go in. So I was like, you know, whatever, whatever I gave up. So it, there's no stairs there, but yeah, just, I also changed out all the railings and stuff as well. I had the university life, um, railings in, but I changed it out to be the base game ones instead. And what's happening here? Let's see. I don't know exactly. Oh, yeah, I was trying to fix that roof that was like clipping with the door there, but there was no elegant way of doing it. So I just left it. You know, it's fine. It looks better that way than trying to fix it. So yeah. Oh, also one floor plan change I did is I put an archway from the front entrance way into the living room because previously you'd have to go through the dining room to get to the living room, which was kind of weird. So I added an extra archway in, which definitely was an improvement. Here I had to flip around this entire bedroom so I could fit the closet door in on the other wall. Um, of course, it seems kind of silly to rearrange the whole bedroom so I could fit a closet in, but the closets are important to me. I think it's a nice bit of detail. Back when I built this house initially, it was back before I put any closets in my houses. So, you know, that's the main thing I do with these houses when I kind of revisit them is I put closets in all the rooms. But yeah, anyway, um, I also removed the car from the driveway. I put it in the garage. There used to be two cars for this house, but I just got have one now. And the house ends up costing about 230,000 simoleons. So I think a pretty good price, you know, um, for what it is. It's a four bedroom house and it's like a fancier kind of house, you know. So yeah, I thought it was fitting. Uh, and here just going through recoloring some more things. I'm not entirely sure what. I think I'm going to do some adjustments now to the inside. So you also added a door to that little balcony because previously in the house, there was no door to that balcony. It was just straight up a balcony with no door. So I put a door to it, even though it's still not really going to be used. It at least looks functional, you know? And yeah, here just doing some slight adjustments to the living room and to the little entrance way there and the dining room. I've kind of straightened out the rugs because um, I sometimes I like to put the rugs on a slight angle, although they were a little bit too angled. So I kind of straightened them out a little bit. So they're a little bit neater, but yeah, just going through, I'm just like doing very slight adjustments as you, you can probably tell, you know, nothing too drastic here that I'm changing. I also did change the wood trim on all the wallpaper as well. Again, you know, this is a very subtle change for this house, but you know, for all the different rooms and it's kind of went through and kept the same like wallpaper itself, but just changed out the wood uh, trim uh, you know, for the crown molding and baseboard. So just doing that here, it kind of, I think, looks a little bit nicer than like the plain white is a little bit more wood grain to it. But, you know, this is kind of one of those very subtle, like nitpicky changes <laughs> that I make, uh, you know. But anyway, in the kitchen, I changed out the wallpaper to be the kind that I use now in most of my houses that has like the chair rail and like the tile below it and the paint above it. And I changed the kitchen color scheme from red to the greenish kind of color that matches the outside of the house. So I changed the tile on the walls. I changed the little stools there. And then I also changed these um, little mats on the floor. So yeah, it's pretty much though all that changes in the kitchen. It's quite a cool kitchen though. It's very large and quite nice. Oh, actually I do change the color of the appliances as well. I make them black. So yeah, and I also put tile there on top of the fireplace that's in the kitchen, which is kind of unique to have. But yeah, it's doing that, changing out the colors and the appliances. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the kitchen, I believe. So yeah, you know, just some small tweaks here and there. Actually, I changed out that mat there. I made it a smaller one. So yeah, and I think that's pretty much it for like the first floor like adjustment. So I changed the color of those chairs there. I think it's pretty much it for like first floor adjustments. Um, I made some adjustments upstairs here in the hallway, you know, nothing too crazy. 
but you know, recoloring plant pots, like very simple things. And oh yeah, there I just kind of moved the plants and kind of removed that extra art easel. But yeah, in the closets, I uh, you know put some lighting in. I don't, I guess not yet, but oh yeah, this uh, the bathrooms. I redid the wallpaper in here as well, and also like some of the other small things. So you know, just some very slight, subtle changes, basically. Like in this bathroom, I changed the tile grout, and I changed the walls. So there's tile on the walls and you know, really simple stuff like that. But yeah, just going through, doing all that. And oh yeah, there's the lights in the closets. So just getting that in, uh, you know, lighten up the closets, always good. And just adjusting the color of the clothing racks in each one. So they kind of match the uh, bedrooms that they're connected to. But yeah, I think that's, you know, that's it for the closets. Very exciting. That bedroom got a little bit smaller. The two front bedrooms got a little bit smaller because, you know, I added closets in. So they were already very small, but now they're even smaller, but it's still okay. And these are like the two kids' rooms that I have in the house. And yeah, I'm also just adjusting the color of the carpeting in this kid's room. And then also the carpet on the rug, the little like carpet thing. And like that poster there or that like thing on the wall. I adjusted the attic, like upstairs, third floor area. I didn't actually do anything with. I kind of left that, I think, completely untouched. Down here, just doing the same adjustments to the uh, trim on the walls and uh, recoloring some things and stuff like that. But other than, you know, those small things, I think that's pretty much all I do with the inside of this house. You know, it's pretty a pretty simple transformation, not really a transformation, honestly, it ends up looking very similar to how it looked originally. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do here. It's getting some alarm clocks out and stuff. But yeah, the outside is really where there's more of a change. Um, I changed the, um, I changed the wood on the uh, porches and stuff. So yeah, that's also a very minor change there as well. So yeah, just kind of doing that. And I think we're gonna do landscaping probably is what can, what's gonna probably constitute the rest of the video. So yeah, it's got like a small rock wall here that goes um, in this little area because it was kind of steep and I thought that would kind of look a little bit nicer than having kind of the very steep terrain. So I just kind of put that in. I thought that would look nice and yeah. And then I'm also gonna obviously fix the driveway here and smooth out some of the terrain in the front yard. This lot is a little bit bigger than the house Sorry, this lot's a little bit bigger than the lot the house was originally built on. Um, it's probably the same width, but it's a little bit uh, deeper. And this is a 40 by 20 lot, so it's quite narrow, but it goes quite far back. So it's kind of a unique size. But anyway, here I'm just getting this like little um, extra like stuff for that like staircase there. The house is also quite high up as well. You can probably tell there's some stairs that like, you know, go down. It's not like a little bit of a hill. But anyway, here I'm just getting some plants and stuff, uh, you know, out and around uh, that side. And then also around here, just making some adjustments and stuff. But yeah, just some nice plants. And like the landscaping on the house before was fairly tropical since I built the house by the beach in Sunset Valley. So I had like a bunch of palm trees and things. So, you know, of course, I kind of removed all that. And now I'm kind of coming through and making it a little bit more New England-ish, kind of matching, you know, the rest of the world a little bit better. That's kind of the idea here with the kind of re-landscaping. But yeah, just adjusting some plants and stuff. I removed some like store content plants that I used to use. And, you know, now it's kind of just more um, base game stuff for the most part. There's still a few store things, but... Or I think one store thing and like one thing from from World Adventures maybe. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, just doing some adjustments like that. Here I had to fix this terrain and uh, just getting in some more bushes and stuff. You can still see the old pathway there that went to like a gate. Because this house was originally built on a corner lot. So that went to the sidewalk before. But obviously it's a little bit different here. But anyway, getting in some more plants down the hillside here and over here by that side door. Also a couple hedges there by the gate. And yeah. So some pretty simple stuff. I also painted, I uh, got some black uh, floor tiles inside the little uh, half walls there, or the little foundation walls there. But yeah, just doing some more adjustments, very simple adjustments and stuff like that. I got some little rose bushes here, I think, on our side of these stairs, so that was kind of cool. I also put a couple trees on the other side of the front gate that uh, I do that off camera. So you'll see that in the screenshots um, because I did that after I stopped recording. I was like, oh, it looks like I should put some trees here. Anyway, in the backyard, it's actually a decent sized backyard. It's just kind of funky because of the terrain. But I put a little patio back here. I thought that would be nice to have. And then I also uh, put like a grill and like a little outdoor dining table and like a little uh, lounge chair. So it kind of just makes use of the backyard. I also got a couple trees in as well, so that's kind of nice. 
And I also got a tree in right there, an aspen tree. But yeah, just doing some simple adjustments to things. It's like a retaining wall here. I decided to change it out. Actually, I changed out the material completely from the stone to like this brick kind of thing going on. So I got that there and I used that in a couple places. Also this light here I thought was kind of cool. I left that in and got some more lights around the front of the house. And yeah, back here is where I put in the outdoor kind of furniture. So there's the grill there. There's also um, a little outdoor dining table, which I thought was nice to have. So yeah, and this is like right off the kitchen as well. So it's kind of perfect place, you know, for a little outdoor dining area. And there's a little lounge chair there. So I thought that was nice to have. Just like a little outdoor backyard kind of space. But yeah, um, you know, just doing some more things and stuff. I'm going to do the terrain paint soon. Uh, you know, I haven't gotten there quite yet. But yeah, getting in the uh, dirt terrain paint will be good. So just doing that right now, just underneath all the plants and stuff, underneath the porches and things, just adds like a nice bit of detail. You know, it always looks good to have that. So just kind of getting that in around the house, just under all the plants and things, under all the landscaping, all uh, the trees, all that kind of stuff. You know, you know the drill if you've seen uh, some of my videos before. So yeah, just coming in and doing that. So yeah, I mean, that's going to pretty much wrap up this house though. So in a few moments, so we're going to move on to some screenshots. So I hope you stick around for those. You can get a good look of what the house looks like on the inside and outside. And if you want to see me build the original house, you know, before, um, you know, I made these changes to it, you can check out the original video. I'll leave a link in the description. You can also download the house. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. It was built for lot 31. You can also download the world uh, in the description as well. But make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and to leave a like if you liked. And I'd always love to hear your feedback in the comments below. But yeah, I hope you stick around for the screenshots and I hope that you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.